right, everybody. Uh, George Galveston, David D. Piper, I'll get you guys all together. I have a question. How are, first of all, where are the elected officials at this rally? Why aren't they here, uh, David? Uh, well, coincidentally, we were at a uh, rally this morning with black leaders. There was about 100, 100 plus leaders there from all around the Bay Area. Um, one of the missing links to that was Ron Dellums. I raised the question as to where he was, and people kind of covered for him yeah. as a sign of unity, but people were very concerned that he wasn't there. We went up to the district attorney's office. Uh, Desley Brooks and others were there, you know, leading the charge and doing what they're supposed to do as elected officials and as concerned citizens. Dellums' chief of staff showed up at the last minute, but Dellums wasn't there. Now, I know from overhearing conversations that they knew that there was a big rally going on today at 3 o'clock. I'm on my way over, uh, over here, and I get the word Ron Dellums is holding a press conference 3 o'clock as we speak. So what happened was some of my fellow journalists that were on, my, on their way over here got called over by their news agencies to go down to the press conference at City Hall. Makes no sense to me. It almost seemed like either the way to uh, distract attention from this right. or to avoid having to show up at a rally like this and get booed because he hadn't spoken for six or seven days. So, you know, to me, that's lack of leadership for somebody who can speak eloquently and talk about the larger picture and give you a sense of, of his vision of making this a first-class cosmopolitan city. That's been his charge. That's what he said he wanted to do. How can you have a first-class cosmopolitan city when you're the mayor of a city that just had an execution when you can go to New York City with Rudolph Giuliani, who had an adversarial relationship with the citizens, and he gave a press conference the day after Amadou Diallo got shot. Michael Bloomberg gave a press conference that night that Sean Bell got shot. Mayor Antonio Veragosa gave a press conference the same day that the police shot up, shot up and beat up all the Latinos during the Immigration May Day March. Right? We can go all around the country. You know, there's a press conference by Israel when they drop bombs on Gaza the same day. So you're the mayor of a city that already seen its history drenched in blood of police killings from Bobby Hutton all the way up to Gary King to now. And then you can't even just speak to the people as a human being? I even asked the district attorney, I said, forget you being a district attorney, what did you think when you saw the video? Because I know how I felt. I still can't sleep over it. You know, I'm still disturbed over it. It's kind of hard to follow. <laughs> it says it all right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you speak for us, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah.